Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Grumman Pilots' YouTube channel, directly supporting the Grumman Pilots Association. And this morning, we want to talk a little bit about overhaul items, and I guess this would be video two, because now that we've had the engine overhauled, it's time to think about the motor mounts. They've been installed on your airplane for 40 years. If your airplane was built in the 70s, so invest the money, get some new motor mounts. And they'll be on your airplane for another 40 years, keeping the vibration damped and your engine running smoothly. Now, there are two types of motor mounts you can buy for our airplanes today. They're the Lord mounts and they're the Barry mounts. No offense to Barry Chopped Lever, who has nothing to do with the Barry mounts. But the Barry mounts are a cheaper mount. And quite frankly, I prefer the Lord mounts. They're, they're more expensive, but I think they're a better product. But knowing how frugal Grumman owners are, I know a lot of people will choose the Barry mounts. But anyway, let's take a look at this. And while we're on the subject of overhaul items, you know, we've done the engine. We talked the other day about the accessories you have to overhaul. We're going to talk today about motor mounts. But while you have it off the airplane, take your engine mount, strip it, check it for cracks and pitting, have any repairs done, and repaint it and put it back on your airplane. So, you know, you're basically doing a firewall forward. But let's take a look at what a, a mount is. Now, this one is a uh, J7402-29. It's for a cheetah. And as you can see, there's nothing else in the box. But inside the motor mount, there are the two halves and the isolator. So that's basically a motor mount. And this is for the traveler and the cheetah. Now I'm going to leave this one out. We're going to compare that to the to the Tiger mount. By the way, while we're on the subject of paperwork, your your motor mounts will come with 8130s and when the motor mounts were made, and that all needs to go into your engine logbook because after all, you want to show people that you did replace the motor mounts. It adds to the value of your aircraft going down the road. Now let's open up the uh, Tiger mount. The Tiger is a bigger motor, comes with a shim. I'll set that aside. But as you can see, the difference in the Lord mounts for the O320s and the O360s. Now, in the O360, we have a much bigger isolator. But that's okay. We have a much bigger, heavier engine, likes to vibrate a little bit more out front. Now, as you, as you know, there are four of these on the motor mounts, so you'll be ordering four for the Tiger, four for the Cheetah, four for the Traveler, and if you've got a two-seater, you'll be getting four of the small ones for the O235. But these are the motor mounts that go in our airplanes. Again, you know, as we're talking about overhaul items, you might as well change your motor mounts while you're there. It's also a good time to think about your battery cables. I mean, those things have been on the airplane for 40 years. You're going to have the engine off. It's easy to get to. It's easy to clean the firewall. Let's make a nice, pretty product that we're proud to show people that we fly. So we hope you found all this information uh, useful and informative. We'd like to thank you for watching Grumman Pilot's YouTube channel, and have a good day flying your Grumman. Thanks for watching.